The world of rap and hip hop will not be what it is today if not for the influence of Dr. Dre. Since he burst onto the scene with the gangster rap group N.W.A., Dr. Dre has been a major influence in the evolution of pop culture. But beyond just being a producer and rapper, he is an audio engineer, a record executive, and a very successful entrepreneur. Dr. Dre has worked with a generation of artists that has defined what we know today as rap music. This includes Eminem, Tupac, 50 Cent, The D.O.C., Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, The Game, Kendrick Lamar, and Anderson Pack. In this video, we go back to Dr. Dre's humble beginnings to tell the story of how a young man from Compton, California, became a hip-hop mogul. Dr. Dre was born Andre Ramel Young on February 18, 1965 in Compton, California. His father, Theodore Young, was an R&B artist who named Dre after his R&B group, Romels. His mother's name was Verna Young. Theodore and Verna would only stay married for four years before separating and finalizing a divorce in 1972. Now staying with his mother and grandmother, Dre began attending Vanguard Junior High School in Compton, but he wouldn't stay there for long. Due to the unending gang violence in that area, Dre was transferred to another school in the suburbs, Roosevelt Junior High. His mother would later go on to remarry twice, leaving Dre with a long line of siblings from her other two marriages. Dre was simply not cut out for schoolwork, or he did not want to put in the effort to make excellent grades. Instead, he focused on entertainment and building his social life for the most part of his time in high school. Dre spent lots of days skipping school, and despite being coerced by his mother to attend Chester Adult School in Compton, Dre eventually opted to drop out of his school. He had found his passion at the time, performing at nightclubs. Dre's obsession with rap really kicked into gear when he started to visit a nightclub called Even After Dark. At the nightclub, he would watch several DJs and rappers performing live. Not long after, he also became a DJ at the club, going by the stage name Dr. J, which was inspired by his favorite basketball player, Julius Irving. He later changed his name to Dr. Dre, combining his previous stage name with his first name, Andre. One of Dr. Dre's earliest recordings was made with a talent he met at Even After Dark, DJ Yellow, who would go on to be a member of the famed NWA rap group. Together, they recorded the single Surgery, which was later released when Dre joined the musical group World Class Wrecking Crew. The single Surgery was the group's first big hit with over 5,000 copies sold within Compton alone. Relatively speaking, that's a lot of records sold locally at the time. In 1986, Dre met up with the rapper O'Shea Jackson, better known as Ice Cube. Together, they worked on a series of tracks for the record label Ruthless Records, which was run by a then local rapper called Easy E. Later on, Dre, Ice Cube, Easy E, MC Ren, DOC, and the Arabian Prince came together to form the rap group Niggas with Attitude, better known as NWA. N.W.A. introduced a style of rap music that was notoriously explicit, depicting a true-to-life reflection of life in the streets and particularly voicing out their opinions on the issues of their days. In 1988, N.W.A. released their second studio album, Straight Outta Compton. The album became an instant hit, selling some two million copies. With the album, N.W.A. launched a new genre of rap music, which was called gangster rap. The most infamous track on the album was F*** The Police, a song that reflected on the tensions between the police and black youth. For many youths who followed the group, F*** The Police became an anthem. In the eyes of the authorities, however, it was interpreted as a means of inciting violence against the police. 
The concerns about the lyrics of the track were so serious that the FBI sent a letter to Ruthless Records warning the company about the content of the song's lyrics. 1989, N.W.A. could barely stay together due to concerns about financial mismanagement. Ice Cube left the group. While Dre remained, he produced and performed on most of the tracks in the group's next album, Niggas for Life. Dre also served as producer for several other acts on the payroll of Ruthless Records. These included Easy e himself, Michelle, D.O.C., J.J. Fad, and Jimmy Z. But later on, Dre and Easy e got into a bitter dispute that saw Dre leave N.W.A. and Ruthless Records. Dre teamed up with his bodyguard at the time, Suge Knight, to set up a new record company called Death Row Records. Dre went on to release his debut solo album, The Chronic. The album quickly became a cultural phenomenon. It featured tracks like Let Me Ride, Nothing But A G Thang, and Fuck With Dre Day, and everybody celebrated. Dre featured Snoop Dogg on many of his tracks to serve as guest vocalist. The Chronic was certified triple platinum and the single Let Me Ride earned Dre the Grammy Award for Best Rap Solo Performance. Dre also produced Snoop Dogg's debut album, Doggy Style. It became the first debut album of an artist to enter the Billboard 200 at number one. In 1995, Death Row Records signed Tupac. He was brought on to be their major star. And together with Dre, Tupac released the single, California Love, which peaked at number one in the Billboard Hot 100. Following a fallout with Suge Knight, Dre left Death Row Records in 1996 to start his own label, Aftermath Entertainment. I got everything. Get the fuck out. Go! So what you gonna call that bullshit? Aftermath. And following the establishment of Aftermath Entertainment, Dre released Dr. Dre Presents the Aftermath album. It features songs by Dr. Dre himself and other newly signed artists, but the album was poorly received amongst music fans, even though it was a commercial success. At the time, things were not looking promising for Dr. Dre's Aftermath Entertainment following a cold reception of the studio's first album. But all that began to change when Dre agreed to sign a rapper from Detroit named Eminem. The two artists worked on Eminem's first album, the Slim Shady LP. Controversial as it was, the album was a huge commercial success and a major boost for Dr. Dre and his record company. In 2001, Dre released his second solo studio album, 2001. It marked the return of Dre to his gangster rap roots. The album peaked at number two on the Billboard 200 and has since been certified six times platinum. The 2000s were hugely successful years for Dr. Dre as a producer. All the while, his third studio album, which was expected to be titled Detox, was hotly anticipated. In 2008, Dre continued to expand his impressive resume when he founded Beats Electronics with record producer Jimmy Iovine. The company's first major product was the Beats by Dre headphone. When the headphone hit the market, it immediately became very popular. Following this, Beats Electronics continued to release several products, all of which proved hugely successful thanks to numerous product endorsements from various celebrities and hip hop artists. Hey, hey. what's up with it? You know, pushing hairlines back? Pushing hairlines back because he ugly. <laughs> Check this out, real. Listen to this. Check it out. Ah, uh, did a I rap with a Pyrex and a Project. I'm cracking a pot. I'm a some of the products that Beats Electronics introduced to the market include Heartbeats by Lady Gaga, Diddy Beats, Beats Tour, Beats Studio, and a long list of others. Beats Electronics also launched an online music streaming service, Beats Music, in January 2014. In May 2014, Apple announced the purchase of the Beats brand for a whopping $3 billion. 
This immediately made Dr. Dre the richest rap star in the world with an estimated net worth of $800 million, surpassing Puff, who was considered the richest rapper before Dre. Following the purchase of Beats by Apple, the two founders of Beats Electronics, Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine, joined Apple Incorporated by occupying executive roles. Dr. Dre finally announced the release of his highly anticipated third studio album in August 2015, titled Compton Soundtrack. The album was timed to be released at the same time with the premiere of the movie Straight Outta Compton a biopic about the rise of N.W.A. Dre fathered a son when he was just 16 years old with his then-girlfriend, Cassandra Joy Green. The name of his son is Curtis, and until he turned 20, Curtis did not meet his father. But like his father, Curtis is now a rapper who goes by the name Hood Surgeon. Later on, Dre got involved with 15-year-old Lisa Johnston, with whom he had three daughters. Dre also had a son with Yanita Porter, whose name was also Andre Young Jr. Unfortunately, on August 23rd, 2008, Andre died from an overdose of morphine and heroin. He was 20 years old at the time of his death. Dre had yet another son, Marcus, with singer Michelle, who was a recording artist that worked under Ruthless Records and Death Row Records. In 1996, Dr. Dre married Nicole, an ex-wife of NBA player Sidel Threat. Together, they had a son and a daughter. The couple stayed together for quite a while before Nicole Young filed for divorce in June 2020 on the grounds of irreconcilable differences. More recently, on January 5, 2021, it was reported that Dr. Dre suffered a brain aneurysm and was admitted to Cedars-Sinai Medical Center's Intensive Care Unit in Los Angeles, California. Following his hospitalization, Dre said in a statement that he was doing great and receiving excellent medical care at the time. After a successful surgery, Dr. Dre returned home safely, allaying any fears over his health. As a business mogul and a hip-hop legend, Dr. Dre will forever be known for his immense contribution to the hip-hop genre and his brilliant talent management skills. Still active and going strong, it is clear that there is a lot yet to come from this musical genius and, to be honest, we can't wait for more. That's it for this video. As always, be sure to hit the like button if this video was informative to you. Also, if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you can be up on all the latest content. We made you.